Hello everybody and welcome back to Testing Basics. It's been years and years and years since I've had that, years and years. Um, we're bringing back the series, we're reviving it with jeans, straight leg, longer leg jeans, as is the trend at the moment, if you will. Um, but I'm slightly changing the format, I need to see what you guys think, um, in that for this video I've only ended up with four as opposed to five. For anyone who doesn't know, testing basics, the concept was that I used to buy a five one item from high street to high end, wear it over a week, wash it depending if the item needs washing or not, and then review it and rank them in order and basically judge whether or not I felt it was worth spending money on certain items. Um, and the concept I want to remain the same. I think I want to have a bit more fluidity around whether or not I need five items every single time. I really remember it being sometimes quite difficult to find five of the same thing that I actually wanted to wear or thought I would re-wear um, within the price points. So for this, I've ended up with four. However, I filmed me trying on different pairs, ones that I've ordered that aren't right, and thought I would include that so that you see the process of me picking them a little bit more and then a kind of understanding of why we end up with the final four that we do. Um, so maybe I will insert the trying on ones that weren't right here. Go. Hey guys, I'm just working out where to prop you. The um, Goldie jeans are out today. They're just, um, they're just too short. I'm gonna put on the ones I've already got in this exact style in the washed black, which are like, I was hoping they'd be kind of exactly the same as those because I love those jeans so much and would love to A, have them in a light wash and B, be able to review them within this video because I really, really recommend them. Um, but unfortunately these ones, which are 26, they can come with a leg length, even with the same style, are coming up a lot shorter. So I'm gonna to have to return these. They've got like a great fit through the waist and bum and everything, but for the purpose of this video, we want a long baggy jeans, didn't we? So it's just not the right style. You can see a bit more here. Um, which is such a shame because like I said, I've loved the um, ones that I have from them already, and I would have really have liked to have reviewed them in this video. Um, but yeah, they're just, that's just too short, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to pop the ones that I have on before I go out, just to show you this whole decision-making process as well. But no, I need another high-end pair, so maybe I'll try to go to Acne tomorrow or something. Um, yeah, it's pretty tricky, this one, isn't it? These are the same style. The Lana in the wash black. Like, they're long. They're loose fitting, they, they, give, they have given quite a lot, but they're, I love these jeans. They're one of my most worn jeans at the moment, which again is why I so want to include the Goldie in this video, because um, I really do recommend them. But this is just a testament to how varied the, um, the washers can make a style of jeans from high street to high end. Like weekday with row, we've had the same issue with that. This too, so that's like across the board. That don't assume that the same style and different wash is going to fit the same. Um, but yeah, which is kind of a shame, especially if you're shopping online, it makes it difficult. But I really don't think this is to do with the price of the product either. Okay, voice over time now. I'm in acne, trying on these, which are a very cool colour. Um, but I didn't think the right kind of style for the video. Not quite long enough, but I did like the wash. And then I also tried on these in acne too. Um, they didn't have my size, these are always 26 and I've squeezed into them and I ultimately decided that they were too similar fit to the 80s ones and they were also $360 so I didn't think they were going to add much to the video. Um, I also did a trip to Everlane to try and get that mid price one more and these were the, the ones that they had that were most in keeping with what we were after um, but again just not quite long enough for me. Um, I think they would be, like I said, if you just weren't quite as tall, here I am trying it on with a little ballet pump. And um, they're a really, really nice wash and a really nice um, style. They're, they're baggy jeans, I think. I will link them, but I decided not to, not to get them for this video because, again, they just weren't quite right. And then they're not going to compete with ones that I think are quite right. And then we're back in the room. And now we'll talk through the four that I've ended on. But also let me know what you think about this format. I think I will always aim to have five, but... Like, I just couldn't get this mid-price one right at all. I also ordered a pair from Philippa K, and they just didn't arrive in time in London. Um, and so it felt like the odds were stacked against me, and then I ended up having what I think is a good mix, because we've got three priced, we've got one mid, 
three price lower and one high, but not insanely high as well. So like a high end denim that is, I think, achievable to save up for, or if you're in the market for an expensive pair of jeans, as opposed to like a 500 pound pair of jeans, which is insane. Um, so if we're going to talk mango, we're going to go from cheapest to most expensive. So we've got mango at 35.99. Also, just to be clear, none of these have been gifted. I've bought them all myself. Um, with jeans, you're always going to have a difference in how brands choose to size them. So I'll make sure to mention that as well. Mango do it in dress sizes. So like 8, 10, 12, 36, 38, 40, etc, etc. This is a US 4, European 36, which is a UK 8, I believe, which is my normal size in mango. Um, these are called the Matilda jeans. They are a really good wash. They are very, very, very like vintage Levi's-esque in their wash to the extent that when I keep trying to um, find them in my jeans cupboard, I keep pulling out all my vintage Levi's before I end up with these ones. Um, for reference, I'm five foot eight. I would be like 32, which is what I would consider these to be um, if I want like a pair of jeans to kind of touch my ankle. But like 34 if I want longer, a lot of my height is in my legs. Um, these are probably the tightest fit out of all the ones that I've got here, the leaf baggy. They fit really nice over the bum and over the waist. They're a soft denim, but still have just a really, really, really nice texture to them. But they're definitely the softest of the four pairs that I've got. And then from there, we're gonna to go to a weekday. Now, I'll talk about this more at the end, but I have, it's gonna be kind of complicated for me to rank these. These are the weekday row, which I have had many, many, many times before and in many different washers. Um, and generally the consensus of this video, which I think you've already got from me trying on the Goldie pair, is how varied denim can be in the same brand, same size, same style name, if the wash is different. This is a really good example of that. These are the weekday row. I got them in a waist 27, leg 34. In hindsight, I probably should have gone for a waist 26. Um, but I do really like the fit of these a little bit looser. Um, I think they're gonna be especially good in the summer as well for being looser, just a bit cooler. Um, they have like a really vintage wash to them, which I thought was quite good for this video because that is very much the style at the moment of denim, like very 90s um, or Y2K sort of styling. Uh, they're really long in the leg. I would actually say they fit longer than a leg 34 if I'm honest. I think they fit really long and really well. Super, super, super high-waisted. With the weekday row, I would always say go for the smallest size that you can fit in if you want them tight fitting, which is why I should have gone for a 26. They do give, so um, yeah, squeeze yourself into them. as comfortable, comfortably, obviously, and then I'd kind of, Presume they're going to give at least half a size, I would say, which probably means in time, those are almost going to be too big, which is why I made a slight mistake there. Next up, we're going to Levi's. Can't do a, a denim video and not include Levi's. They really are like, their, their quality of denim is just really great. Um, I went for the, a men's pair, which I hope is okay, but just, I wear quite a lot of men's denim, and I think this is a really great way to get this baggy style of jean. Um, and the thing is with men's denim is, the crotch is obviously going to fit quite differently, so that's something that I'm always mindful for. These are just the classic 501s. How good is this wash? Like a super, super, super dark indigo. I'd be very careful sitting on the sofa and then and things like that. It will be the kind of wash that bleeds a little bit into things. Um, so these are a waist 30 in the men's. I don't actually know how men's sizing works in comparison to women's, but if I wore a women's waist 30, that would be way too big for me like i said i would be in waist 26 normally but these do sit on my hips really really nicely so it's waist 30 leg 32 they go down in the men's to a waist 28 i bought these in the shop in soho on broadway but the waist 28 didn't have a leg 32 only a leg 30 and i want a 32 and then these actually fit really really great so yeah these are the very classic 501 it says 501 93 on the back actually so i'm just going to double check that online but I'm pretty sure these are just the normal 501s. Um, and yeah, really straight in the leg. They fit really nice over the bum and crotch. Actually, you've not got like a baggy crotch in them. Button fly, which I just always love in the Levi 501s as well. And these were £90. I did buy them here in New York, so I think maybe they were like $85, I want to say $90. So slightly cheaper if you get them in America, but we're doing this in pounds for ease. And then we're jumping straight up, actually, to quite a bit, to £240, to a brand that I've never had anything from before, called 80s. Um, you can get it in the US, you can get it in the UK as well. I bought these in their shop in Soho, in London. 
um, because a friend, I was speaking to a friend about doing this video, and she was like, oh, my housemate always wears these 80s jeans, they look so good. And I went and tried these on, and I was like, whoa, these are perfect. Um, so these are unisex, which is so cool. I'm not going to say too much about it, because I know I do in this segment where I'm trying them on. Waist 26, length 34. Again, really, really, really good sizing, I'd say. The 26 is really true to size, the 34 feels really true to size as well. They're a dark wash denim again, nowhere near as intense as the Levi ones, just to compare those for you. But a really nice stiff denim, really long in the leg. They've got kind of nice little detailing on the detailing on the back pockets there as well as some stitching. None of the others have anything like that. Um, and yeah, like I said, I've never had anything from 80s before. These are really high waisted. I'm going to talk about the fit of them more throughout the video in the different segments, but super high waisted, similarly high waisted to the row, I would say, the weekday ones. Whereas Levi's and Mango are coming more at a mid to high rise. Um, and that's it, that's the four. I am trying to keep this video shorter than they normally ended up being. Um, and now I just go into me wearing them. I've been wearing them all on and off for say, I'd say about 10 days now. They've all been worn at least once as well, more than once in every case. Um, and then we shall review at the very end. Okay, we have the 80s ones here today. Um, wearing these in a waist 26 leg 34 they also come in different leg, leg lengths um, they went for the longest possible one just because then in time I have the option to have them taken up if I get tired of this like super long leg length trend um, whereas obviously more limited with taking a jean down and having it made longer and they're unisex denim they fit unbelievably well unbelievably well um, this is, yeah, I don't think I've ever really had a pair of jeans that fit over my waist quite so well. They're really nice and high-waisted, a uh, really nice indigo denim, but it's not too stiff, but it's still a nice heavy weight. I really like this tiny little detailing here, which is the 80s logo and label, but it's really well hidden, so you just actually get this um, satin white stripe poking out the pocket. Um, yeah, I mean, the 26 couldn't fit better. They're, they're absolutely true to size. I think the leg length is also very true to its size too. Um, really interesting that they're unisex. I'd actually love to see these styles on a man and see how they fit over the crotch differently because normally when I wear men's jeans, I find like I've got a lot of extra material over the crotch, but with this, it sits really flat. Um, so that would be interesting to see as well because I do know a lot of men that wear them and love them. So they clearly, clearly work really well for men as well, which is a very impressive design for me, I feel. Um, and yeah. Great leg length, I've got them with my flat tabby um, boots. They don't touch the floor, but you can see that they kind of pull really nicely over the top of the shoe. I'm also just wearing them with a grey knit from Muji. Um, this leather jacket is from Dagmar. Really nice and warm leather jacket. And then I'm taking my St. Agni black leather bag really great outfit. These jeans are great. Love an indigo denim. Huge, huge fan of that because I think they're really easy to dress up and dress down. If you watched my vlog last week, I actually wore these out to an event last night. I wore them with a heeled boot. The length works so great with heels as well. Um, and yeah, don't worry if you're not tall because there are lots of the leg lengths available too. So they won't necessarily, you know, you're not stuck with this extra, extra long one. But um, really, 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 really like these. I think they're great. Hello, um, very boring outfit here because I'm just going to a friend's house to help her move out. So very practical. I've got on the weekday row jeans. Um, I have these in a waist. Oh my gosh, I've got what waist have it. I think I've got them in a 27. Um, bear with me, everybody. Yeah, waist 27, leg 34. As always, we do we do, do a great leg length. Um, so I have these in a few different washes. I'm going to try and just actually focus on this pair, but really want to begin by saying that overall, I hugely recommend this style of jean. And there's pair, I've one like light wash pair that I've had from them for. I think they sent me them when I lived in Notting Hill, so potentially six years or five years, a long time. And two pairs of the wash black, they're great. Every wash of this style has a slightly different fit. So for instance, the black ones that I have are in a waist 27 and they are, did I say 27 or 26? 
yeah, they're a lot tighter. These are a 27 and I could have probably gone down to a 26. I mean, they're like comfortable and loose, but I could have them tighter if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, these fit more comfortable when I tried them on basically, but there are other styles. I have a 26 and I think I've got a 26 in a white wash. Basically, you need to go try them on. Every wash fits slightly different. These were a new wash that they've done, so it was quite good timing. And while I have reviewed these jeans in the past, I could not include them as um, a great kind of benchmark to rate all of the jeans from because I can give these such a long-standing review as well. They're £50. Um, and yeah, these kind of have a very vintage wash to them, which also feels very in keeping with just what the trends are at the moment. Really long in the leg, but like I said, they do different leg lengths, so you could go for shorter as well. They have a much straighter fit over the um, waist and crotch than the 80s one do, which are much more, they definitely just hug your bum better, the 80s one, than these do. These feel much more straight up and down. And this section always feels particularly long in these jeans. Um, they are very high-waisted, like there's my belly button for reference, and they're coming all, to, all the way up here. Um, but yeah, really, really great pair of jeans for the price. I'm just wearing them with some New Balance trainers and a jumper from Whistles and having a boring practical day, basically. Okay, we've got Mango. Um, and they're a really, really good length. They're slightly shorter than the weekday ones and the 80s. I'd say they translate more to a leg 32, whereas the others are coming in at a leg 34. But like I've said, I'm tall and I'm very long-legged. So for, um, if you are... I mean, under five for eight, essentially. These are gonna be a really, 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 really great length. Um, and they're an amazing fit. I'm actually super, super impressed with the fit. I think I prefer how the crotch looks more than the weekday ones. They've got a nice fit over the bum. They're a lighter wash. Zen in itself is a similar kind of heaviness to the weekday ones, but they feel softer. They don't feel as, um, Stiff and structured as the 80s ones do. They definitely don't feel as expensive as the 80s one, I will say that. Um, but I think the fit of them is great. I've just got on a Uniqlo jumper today and some loafers from Hero. Nothing groundbreaking about today's outfit at all. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm especially interested to see how these wash with them being a much softer denim. So let's see. Adding in an extra outfit with the weekday row jeans today really quickly um got on sandals from the row i like this length of jeans and sandals a lot navy gray jumper arquette jumper underneath it's an ugly bag let's let's pop you down here there we go they're looking good got a good um full length mirror on the way here so that we can actually show things a little bit better, but you'll have seen everything in the cutaway. I just wanted to add a little extra styling in spo. The Levi's on today. It's a beautiful day in New York. It is. Well, it's not that bad. It's just a little bit chilly. Twenty degrees right now. T-shirt weather. T-shirt is a cashmere one from J. Crew. Really nice. Love an old navy outfit. That's why I wanted to pair a very dark navy top with the dark navy Levi's. I think it's just such a chic colour combo, matching top with some dark denim. Um, really like the fit of these. Definitely feels more masculine in the crotch than say the 80s ones, even though they're unisex. Um, it's partly probably because the 80s ones fit me super well over the waist and are designed to be high waisted, whereas these are definitely meant to sit on, I mean men's hips as well, but with them being a 30. But this, I mean the sizing is I think it's pretty good. Um, and I love the wash, I love the fit through the leg. I really, 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 really like these. I'm wearing them with my tabby pumps. And I'm gonna take um, this bag from um, St. Agony, this little brown one. And where are my sunglasses? I have a really good pair of sunglasses on the go at the moment from J. Crew. Um, hmm, one minute. Here we go. These um, tortoiseshell sunglasses. This is some J. Crew ones, and I think they're really, really, really nice. I like them with my hair lighter. And I think all in all, how simple and chic. But yeah, the jeans um, look and feel great. Really into this outfit. All 
Alrighty, end of the video. Let me know how you felt about the format and it not being five items, I know it's not already. Um, this is going to be a really complicated ranking as well because there is, there's not like a straightforward order. I'm going to go through the, um, my favourite of each pair of jeans essentially and order them in that, but I have like a caveat to every single thing I'm going to say. Um, because my least favourite of these ones has been the weekday row. Um, I just think the wash wasn't quite right for me, I should have got the size smaller. Um, I went the second time that I wore them, the second outfit that I put in here, I really liked it and then I took some photos for Instagram and looked back on them and they just had a slightly more frumpy fit it felt like. Um, however, the caveat with this is that I hugely still recommend weekday for denim. And also, I bought these in the Regent Street store in London, and when I went on the website to check the price of them and everything for this video, they have loads of new styles that they didn't have in the shop that look great that I really want to try as well. Um, so in terms of like the breadth of styles that the brand offers, the different washers, the sizing, they really are great. There's just such a huge range. Um, and I have, like I said at the beginning, the weekday row jeans and lots of different washers that I've had for years. The washed black ones in particular are great. So while this particular pair has been my favourite of this video, I still hugely recommend weekday jeans um, and the row style as well. But I would say don't expect all washers to fit the same. So if you've got like the black pair already or whatever, don't then think that getting the blue will be a similar fit. Um, in second to last place I'm going to put these mango ones. I think these are really, really, really great jeans for the price, really, really great. They just aren't quite competing in the fit and style as the Levi's in the 80s, but these really do look and feel like vintage Levi 501s, which I think is the ultimate holy grail of denim a lot of the time. Really hard to replicate on the high street, really hard to replicate when it's not vintage as well, and finding the right vintage pair is just such a rigmarole. So these are so good for that. They're really soft. They're probably the comfiest of all of them. And I know that I'm going to get loads of wear out of these going forward, I think especially in the summer, because the wash is just great. And again, I think if you are, are quite as tall as I am, these are going to be the perfect length and actually a really, 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 really great fit for so many people. Um, just for me personally, the unisex styles, I fit the bill of this style of denim a little bit better for me and for my body shape, for my height and everything. Um, but yeah, these, I still really, really recommend them. And for £35, were they? Were they £35.99 or £34.99? Ridiculously good denim for that price. Um, I also, they've got like some slight distress detail on the bottom, but they just haven't taken it too far, which I really like because I think that can often cheapen jeans so much. I, I keep saying this, but I, my favourite pair of vintage 501s look almost identical to this, to the point where I keep pulling the wrong pair out of the cupboard when I was looking for these, picking up the 501s, and I really do think that is a very big compliment for a pair of jeans. Which leads me to the final two, which I'm kind of going to put in joint first place, because ultimately I don't think you need to go and spend £240 on a pair of jeans, but if you're going to, I would say go and get these 80s ones. Um, these have probably been the ones that I've enjoyed wearing most out of them all, which is why I just have to rank them so high despite the high price point. And like I just said, if you wanted to invest in jeans, I think these are great. I love the fact that they're unisex, they fit amazing. The fit over the waist and bum is just, I haven't had a pair of jeans ever that fit like this before. It's so like simultaneously well fitted, well tailored and baggy, but not not just ill-fitting at all, it's re they really have done something amazing with the cut of these jeans over the waist and bum. Um, however, I do still think there's an obscene amount of money for jeans, um, with a lot of looking around, especially going back to the weekday row, I don't think they do it in a wash like this, I don't think that they do, but they definitely have other jeans in this kind of wash. You could definitely replicate this kind of look somewhere, but I think the things that I'll be looking for when I'm spending this much money on a pet, on clothes that I can also get really great off for a lot less is the little detailing and the fit and things and for something about it to feel a little bit more exceptional and it definitely, definitely delivers on that. Um, so I wanted to rank it really high, highly because I've also wanted to reach and wear these the most um, and I like the fact that they had a good range of leg length as well so you wouldn't need them to be as long as the ones that I got but they really are very, very, very good jeans. 
But alongside that, £90, the Levi Men's 501s. Still don't love them as much as the vintage ones, I'll be honest. Like, the vintage ones are just so varied, and if you get a good pair, you really, really, really do get a good pair, which again ties in really nicely with what I was saying about the mango ones. However, for £90, these, they just feel so much more expensive than that. They really, really do. Um, I got a lot of compliments on these yesterday. I wore them yesterday. Um, two different friends were like, oh, those are really great jeans. I do think they're baggier over the crotch than the 80s one, since we're comparing, well, unisex versus specifically men's. Um, especially as I wore them a little bit more and sat down in them a bit more, it definitely feels like it's given, given a little bit. Um, but they're just great. Like, the quality of the denim, the stiffness of the denim, the fit of it, like all the detailing through the stitching, the, the button fly, they're just like solid, great jeans for £90. And Levi's have so consistently delivered with that as well. Um, I do think you can tell a difference in quality between weekday to Levi's, say. So the price difference between them is, um, what's the word I'm after? Justified, in my opinion. Um, and I do think you can tell a difference in how great the fit is in the 80s versus the Levi's. So again, that does sort of seem to be some sort of justified price jump, but I don't think it needs to be quite as great as, I mean, like, you're definitely paying for the brand today, essentially with 80s. Um, but yeah, really, really like these Levi's. Um, and I do really like the women's current 501s that they do as well. They just don't have this specific fit that we were after in this video, um, but I would still recommend them. But I think trying men's denim is kind of quite fun as well. For this baggy look that everyone is after. Okay, I feel like I spoke a lot then and really quickly. Um, it feels so good to be doing this series again. I hope you have enjoyed it. Let me know what you want to see next. I was thinking maybe we could do like ballet flats because they're everywhere at the moment. Everyone is really into them and I'm really into them as well. Um, but I don't know, it made me instantly think well, I would want the row to be the most expensive ones. And then in the same breath, I'm like, can I bring myself to spend? I think they're like 700 pounds or something on some ballet flats. Anyway, let me know what you'd like to see. Um, everything will be linked in the description box. Please leave any comments or questions in the comments. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.